So let me go ahead and show you one last thing about durations. I'm going to go ahead and link these tasks together. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see the weekends. You'll notice that uh, we have here, for example, a five-day uh, task. If I zoom in just a little bit farther, we'll see that that is five working days. So when we happen to span uh, or encounter a weekend, our standard calendar says we don't work on the weekends. Therefore, this task, since it requires five days of work, will have to continue into the next week and will not get done until it looks like Thursday uh, at the end of the day. There is, uh, we could obviously override this with a special calendar that would exempt these weekends, but if we wanted to do it just for one particular task, there is a little bit of a shortcut. So in this case, we would say that we want five E days or five elapsed days. And so in that case, it'll actually have us working on the weekends. Uh, we can also do um, weeks, so we can do one week. Okay, and we can also uh, do months, so we can do a month. Uh, a month seems like an odd time to put within um, Microsoft Project. Um, it represents 20 working days. Okay, so obviously the calendar has uh, months with different number of working days in them, but as far as Microsoft Project is concerned, uh, a time duration of one month represents 20 working days. So hopefully that shows you a couple little um, additional techniques that you can use there uh, when you're entering durations.